play the video in its entirety before giving my commentary because it is insane and ridiculous and it paints a really good picture of what a lot of black people go through in this country um, even if there are witnesses even if there is video there is such disregard for the safety of black people and black people as a whole that someone can literally attack you and then be the villain be the criminal and then because they have the protection they can actually get away with engaging in criminal behavior now at the beginning you see that this beast because that's how she was acting abigail is her name miss yukenta she was there in the victoria secrets with her coupon buying her 50 dollars worth of of items and she had um, a coupon to get some free items this woman comes in um, throw something where she was going through stuff being rude being disrespectful and dismissive and then when the black lady says something to her she literally raises that paw to try and hit her she didn't realize that this woman was recording so she starts screaming talking about she's going through a mental episode and then she's yelling and screaming like a banshee she fake passes out it's not like she fainted and she had no control and hit the floor she melts down to the floor trying to get sympathy a lot of people are just buying their items they don't even care that this is happening and that this woman just tried to assault this black woman the manager really couldn't do anything um the manager said said she called mall security but it took them so long to get there um i'm sure if the shoe was on the other foot and miss yukenta she tried to assault this woman they would have been there in two seconds and the regular police which karen called as if somebody was doing something to her basically she called that she wanted this woman to stop recording her she called the actual police and the police would have been there within five minutes if this had been a black woman um, assaulting a white woman they would have had guns drawn they would have escorted this woman out of the mall in a body bag or by force this woman chased Miss Yukenta through the store the manager was trying to stand between her and then if you listen in the background it's like the manager some people in the store was trying to tell Miss Yukenta not to record as if to calm this crazy ass bitch down by not recording and stopping the recording she is pretending to have a breakdown she did not have a breakdown nothing was mentally wrong with her she is not mentally off because at the end of the video you actually hear within the police report that the only thing that she was worried about was going viral the video getting to the news her being kicked out of her apartment for her atrocious behavior and also her being fired because the company that she works for would not want that image on them because she's seen this happen before with other people but even though she knew this, she didn't check and regulate the behavior, the privilege that she felt she had. There were other people asking her to leave the store, but still, um, there was a woman at the counter who told Miss Yukenta to leave the store as if she did anything. This woman was in there shopping before the Karen got there and she was getting her stuff and then this woman attacked her like you know people 
do this to black people and only black people because she never would have told a white woman who was being attacked that and herself she knows that's why she turned around when miss yukinta checked her which she should have checked her a little bit more basically you don't want to say anything to this bitch to get her ass away from me which she's attacking she is assaulting nobody knows what she has in her purse or on her persons and then she leaves turns her back on this woman and ends up dead nobody knows how far they can take it and we've seen how far they will take things and then she's crying on the police acting like she can't breathe she's having heart palpitations she's about to pass out and as miss yukinta said she said um this is how black people are killed you're sitting up here calling the police like you're in danger when you're the criminal you're the assailant you're the one who tried to commit an assault She keeps chasing her around the store, yelling at her to stop recording her as if she has some authority. And Miss Yukinta, the black woman, is supposed to listen to her. And then a whole 40 days later, the mall security gets there nonchalant, like everything is okay. And as this woman tried to act like, you know, what's going on? We don't know what's going on. Um, basically trying to protect this bitch. Then the police gets there, takes down the statement because she called. She is literally asking for the case number. She says she wants to know where to send the video. And also, um, I'm sure Victoria's Secrets have a security camera there. So, I mean, her video and Victoria's Secret, it would match up. I mean, the manager actually told the police that she, that Miss Yukinta was being chased around the store and they tried to act like it, it was no big deal because she stepped outside of Victoria's Secrets in the mall and Miss Yukinta wanted her escorted off of the premises because again, this bitch is saying she's having a mental episode. Nobody knows if she has any weapons. Nobody knows if this woman will stalk her into any other store. Miss Yukinta goes in to do her shopping while she's at that mall. But to be honest, I wouldn't, I wouldn't shop at that mall. If this is the way security acts, if this is the way the police act, and then the partner, you saw the partner like, the way he did his hand and dismiss her and they're over there because she's crying and acting a fool even though in the end she told them the truth of why she was acting like this and and what she did they still coddled this bitch and then um miss yukinta she goes to the police station She's doing everything she is supposed to because she has been, she went to the mall to do some shopping and now she is being assaulted by a random person she doesn't know. She doesn't know how far this woman will go. She doesn't know if this woman will follow her home. She doesn't know the extent to the criminality level this woman will go to. So not only does she have to deal with this entitled banshee lying on her, but she has to deal with security from the mall and the actual police. She has to break through these walls. And sometimes this is what makes black people not even want to go through it because it takes time out to do this you need a lawyer you have to have money and it can be draining you're trying to get the justice that you deserve you have presented evidence that someone tried to cause you bodily harm they are the criminal but because the criminal is white and it's a female and it's crying um 
basically, oh no, she can't be a criminal and we're going to baby her. We're not going to do anything, essentially. What I don't understand with white males and trying to protect white women and they've lied and they've done things that have got some of these white guys in trouble, you know, they they are some of the biggest simps on the earth. They are. A woman can, a white woman can cry and here they come if they're a police officer. Here they come if they're some random guy trying to protect this woman because she's white and crying and it must be true. <laughs> and then, you know, don't know the situation or what's going on. And they are the biggest fucking simps I have ever seen. I don't understand how you know that these women are messing with other men, um, lying through their teeth, usually doing something. And then you as a dumbass simp come up with your gun or come up trying to defend them and your dumbass ends up in jail while she's with the next non-white guy or she is living comfortable after telling this lie. Now your ass is in jail. It's, it is the craziest thing. It's been going on for centuries. I don't understand how you can be that fucking dumb. But um, in the video, she reads the report. She's recording everything. And then, you know, even when she goes to the police station, the whole blue wall goes up and he's asking her, you know, what's going on? Why do you want to file a complaint against one of his officers? And he gives her the internal um, investigation report so she can go ahead and report why. But I do not believe that he is going to go through the proper channels to get that to the proper person. Um, and she said the right thing at the end. She needs to get a lawyer. She does. She needs to get a lawyer. And this needs to keep circulating around. Because this woman kept her composure. She didn't put her hands on her. She didn't pull out a gun. Anything. Because she would have been in, this, in the right to defend herself. To hit this woman. To beat this woman down. Or to even shoot her to blow her brains out. Because honestly, when you're assaulting someone, they don't know how far you're going to go. If you are bold enough to randomly raise your hand to strike someone, you can take that hand and put it in your pocket or purse or anything and pull out a weapon. So if she had pulled out a weapon on her, she would have been totally justified. But you see what this woman has to go through just for just to get some justice just to get a, get some justice she did nothing wrong nobody can say anything but this is white hegemony this is what we talk about people say oh let, let the law work are you serious is it working for her as it would if she was attacking this Karen Absolutely not. But I'll go ahead and leave this article in the description box because as of today, she has raised more than $100,000 for her legal fees. And I'm happy to hear that. And I hope that she goes through with um, filing the complaint, suing this psychopath and I hope Abigail um, loses her job and loses her apartment as that's what she was afraid of and I hope that you know Miss Yukinta she sues them all if Victoria's Secret does not want to comply sue Victoria's Secrets um, sue the police department as well because she has all the the video that she needs she doesn't have to say anything the video speaks for itself this is racism this is america when you watch the video as a whole um the behavior of this old woman because she has to be 40 
she has to be 40 and if you look at the way she was acting this is also the fault of her parents as well because this is one of those kids that you see on shows where they're out of control where they are used to screaming and yelling and kicking and calling names and hitting their own parents and the behavior is never corrected by the parents the parents bow down the parents give in to what they want she did this as a three-year-old she did this as a five-year-old and that behavior was not corrected put that on top of her living in a wealthy area put that on top of all the privilege that she's had put that on top of all the entitlement and this this was destined to happen this was a recipe for disaster she's on the floor kicking her feet like I said, everything that you see, she wasn't having a mental breakdown. She was actually having a temper tantrum like a child. She's been doing this all her life. She has been doing this in, as a teenager into adulthood. Basically, I can't imagine if she is married, I couldn't see it. Who would want to deal with that? Because if this is how she acts, just going into a store with a random person, not getting her way, imagine what she does to the people in her life when she doesn't get her way or what she did to her parents. But her parents is to blame with this. Her household was a very dysfunctional household. They did not discipline her. She would fall out and kick and get what she wanted. She, I mean, even the way she came up to Miss Yukinta and was like, turn it off, turn it off. It was reminiscent of a five-year-old having a temper tantrum. And because her parents did not discipline her, they released this goddamn beast on the world. But I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Let me know what you think about this story. Go ahead and like and subscribe and comment and I will see you in the next one.